Deacon Curtis want to hear you mom. <laughs> Praise the Lord, son. God is good. Yes, he is. Is God good? Yes, he is. Amen. We do thank the Lord for another day that the Lord has spared our lives again and brought us back to the house of prayer one more time. Yet saved and sanctified and filled with the Holy Ghost. Amen. Tonight's lesson will be studying lesson nine. Amen. October 29, 2023. And our subject is Joshua's final exhortation. Joshua's final exhortation. The last time he's going to urge the Israelites to do something. All right. This is his last speech he's going to give the Israelites. This is the last address he's going to address the Israelites. This is his last time he's giving them strong encouragement to do something. What he wants them to do is serve the Lord. Golden text. Say, if it seem evil unto you to serve the Lord, choose you this day whom ye will serve. But as for me and my house, we will serve the Lord. Joshua 24 and 15. This is the last exaltation he's given them. Amen. And it's good to take self-examination. You make a choice for yes, your sir. own self. You yes, speak sir. up for yourself. Yes, Amen. For me and my house. Yes, He's letting them know you got to make a choice for yourself. Oh, yeah. I can't make that choice for you. Amen. You got to make this choice if it seems evil. Do it seem wrong for you to serve the Lord? He brought you out of Egypt. He brought you out of bondage. He bought you from serving our God. Is it evil unto you to serve the Lord? No. Amen. God brought him, them through the Red Sea. Amen. All of that. Enemies. And I like the Lord because he did a work in the midst of that enemies. In the presence of uh, Israel. They could see what the Lord can do. One song says, see what the Lord has done. We can count our many blessings yeah. because we can see what the Lord has done in our life. Amen. Going into our lesson, amen, Joshua 24 and 1. And Joshua gathered all the tribes of Israel to Shechem and called for the elders of Israel and for their heads and for their judges and for their officers, and they presented themselves before God. Amen. The Lord called Joshua to be the new prophet after the prophet Moses had passed on the scene. And when uh, Joshua is talking to Israel, I thought about Paul talking to Timothy. The time of my departure is at hand. It's time for me to go. But before I go, I want to make Sure, y'all got it together. Right. I want you to check yourself. Yeah. You know it's easy to check somebody else, yeah. but check yourself. Yeah. Amen. What are you going to do for the Lord? Amen. He said he had fought a good fight. Paul yeah. told Timothy, I ain't fought a good fight. Yeah. I lived a good life. I have done what the Lord told me to do. He wanted Timothy to get ready because he, it was going to be in his hand. And this is what Joshua is trying to gather. Amen. All the tribes of Israel to Shisha. Amen. He called all the heads. That's it. Y'all, you know, we can't get together unless the head is That's it. it. That's it. If the head off, all the other body parts are going to be off. So this is why it was imperative for Joshua to gather all the tribes of Israel into Shisha. He called all the elders. Y'all notice these are leaders? That's it. All their heads, the one that was above the people, before the people. 
And for their judges, remember we just studied about the judges? Yeah. And then we were going to go into the kings. Amen. And all the officers, he wanted them to come and present themselves before the Lord. Yeah, Lord. Saints of God, we can't be, come before the Lord any kind of way. Uh, it's a way you got to present yourself to the Lord. Amen. They had, couldn't uh, be out of order in any fashion. Amen. Why? Because they are in the presence of the Lord. Hallelujah. And saints of God, I like to bring it down to us. Amen. When we come in here, all right. them gates, Amen. enter into his gates. We ought to come up in here with thanksgiving. We ought to come up in here with praise. Amen. 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 Why? Because the Lord will bless you again to come and fellowship with the sons of God. And we can't just give God any old kind of blessing, but we ought to give God our best. Yeah, Lord. He gave them. 
It, they wasn't months away from Cana. It was right there. Saints of God, we can be so close to glory till we can miss them all. They were so close. God had already given it to them. The only thing they had to do was just walk in and claim it. Because God had already given it to them. But you had some of them old heads refuse to go in. How many know the Holy Ghost is a gift? You can refuse not to receive it. God say it's a gift, I want to give it to you. That's how he did, Cana. He said, I'm giving you the promised land. Some have negative ideas. These giants there. We can't, we can't take the land. But God done already gave it to you. Sometimes we can have booger bears in our own eyesight. Sometimes you your own in. Amen. God already done bless you. He wants you to have it. If he didn't want them to have it, he wouldn't say, I'm giving you the promised land. And then he wanted them to serve the Lord. Amen. This is all their forefathers had to do. This is why Joshua won't serve them. Notice, you better make the right choice. Then not make the wrong choice because if you serve, uh, choose to serve the iron gods, amen, you're going to be lost. You're going to be destroyed. Amen. And two, this lesson is about not the old Israel because they died in the wilderness. Their grumbling made them stay out there 40 years. Isn't that something to stay in a bad state of mind 40 years? And it say they stayed there 40 years. Look how God will still bless you. Yeah. They stayed out there wandering 40 years. And it say their shoes didn't wear. Their clothes didn't wear. Look how God will still bless you. He just wants you to come to yourself. Verse 15. And it's saying, if it seem evil unto you to serve the Lord, choose you this day whom you will serve, whether uh, the gods which your father served, which was on the other side of the flood, or the gods of the Amorites, idol gods, in whom you dwell. Amen. The Amorites was in Cain. Amen. You were there. Amen. Uh, and God didn't want them to serve serve the other gods of the other nations, the idol gods, amen, in whom land you did dwell, but as for me and my house, we will serve the Lord. Israel, whatever y'all come up with, it don't include me. It don't include me and it doesn't include my house. Amen. Joshua had a made up mind. Saints of God, we gotta have a made up mind that I won't let go and I won't turn back. Thanks to God. I know you heard of a generational curse, but it can stop with you. My daddy died in sin, but I don't have to die in sin. For me and my house, for me and Joe's, I'm going to serve the Lord. For me and my house, amen. This is how it was at the curse house. For me and my house, amen. Our children had to serve the law. They, it wasn't negotiable. This was mandatory that if you live here, you gonna serve the law. Hallelujah. When we get ready for church, we ain't gonna tell nobody to get ready for church because you know protocol. That's it. You know to get ready. That's it. Amen. You know when the car roll to be in there with your shoes off. <laughs> All right. For me and my house. We don't serve the Lord. Sometimes you got to make it plain, even to the ones in your house. Why? All because right. some of them don't want to be saved. All right. Because when you say for me and my house, I don't want to be saved. I don't want to live like that. I got something else I want to do. I got a long time. Uh, young people, that's a trick of the devil. Ooh, you got you got a long time. The last few weeks or so, look how many young people is getting hurled into eternity. 
they thought they had a long time. Sometimes you can connect yourself with the wrong person, and they will be the one that take you out. Amen. And this is what Joshua wanted them to do to make the right choice. But he's letting them know whatever you come up with for me and my house, we gonna serve the Lord because my departure is at hand. Saints of God, you can live a good life all your life, saved and sanctified, and get up to the last point. God say if you keep all the law and offend in one point, you're guilty of what? All of it. Saints of God, don't get all the way to the end and be lost. Amen. Because these were only the young people that went into Canaan. And this is who uh, Joshua is giving the exaltation to the young people. They were the ones that went into Canaan. Why? Because they denied the God that their father served on the other side of the club. They didn't want to live like that. Amen. Saints of God. God picked you out of your family. That's it. He looked in your family and picked you out. Why not tell the Lord thank you? Because he could have chose your sister or your brother. He could have chose somebody else in your family, but God, the son said, he saw me. God saw me. Amen. Uh, verse 16. And it says, and the people answered and said, God forbid. God refused to allow us to serve another God. And the people answered and said, God forbid that we should forsake the Lord. Amen. You abandon God. You don't want God. I, I even thought about amen. He said, who do you want? You want Jesus? Or do you want Barabbas? Don't you know people are stealing out of their time, making the wrong choice? They say, give us Barabbas, away with Jesus. Somebody saying, away with Jesus today. They don't want holiness. They don't want to live right. They don't want to walk right. They don't want to talk right. Amen. And, and uh, Sister Riker brought something out in the class. Amen. You got to check your house. You got to do some cleaning. Amen. And two, this is what he was telling them too. It's some hidden stuff. All right, man. Among you, check your house. Y'all know how we do when we spring clean. We go up under the sofa. We hold the rug up. We don't just sweep it under the rug. Amen. And two, praise God, we got to make sure and very sure that your calling and in election, you got to make right, sure, man. amen, you are on the Lord's side. That's it. Amen. And it's saying the people answered and said, God forbid that we should forsake the Lord. Amen. Go back on God. Leave the Lord. Amen. Leave the Lord behind and start serving another God. God forbid that he will not allow that. He refused to let you do that. Amen. Why? Because he's the true and the living God. Amen. You don't want to serve no other God. Yeah. Any other God, Baal. All of those were <laughs> idol gods. Amen. Verse 17. And it's saying, for the Lord our God, he it is that brought us up and our fathers out of the land of Egypt. They went through some stuff. Thanks to God. We're going to go through some yeah. stuff. In this life, we're going to have to yeah. go through our Egypt. Our Egypt is symbolic of the world. It's symbolic of sin. There was no good stuff going on in Egypt. Amen. They were in bondage. They were slave drivers to the, Egypt, uh, to the Israelites. Amen. And God, and they keep on, you know, sometimes you got to remind yourself Remind your children what the Lord has done for you. Say, so this is the Lord that brought us up out of the land of Egypt. All of that 400 years God brought us out. No matter how long you've been there, when you start crying out to the Lord, the Lord came to real rescue. Yeah. Think about when we was unsaved, we were sinners. We cried out to the Lord one day, and God heard our cry and came and rescued us. He brought us out of the house of bondage, which did those great signs in our sight. Pardon, 
Red Sea. Giving them, told Moses, speak to the rock and gave them water. Amen. He fed them. Amen. Quail. Amen. He fed them manna. Amen. All of these are good testimonies that they can tell. Yeah. Look what the Lord has done. They didn't have to strive for it. God just laid it there. And folks think in this day and time, we just got smorgasbord. boards. No, we didn't. They had them back then. God had one of the biggest smorgasbord boards they wanted. You can eat all you can eat. He said, but just get enough for that day. Don't get too much now. How many know, don't know free stuff? They, they get more than they need. But God said, get only enough. Amen. Verse 17. Amen. I'm a hurry, Pastor. I'm going to leave something for you all right. Amen. Verse 17. For the Lord, our God, he it is that brought us up uh, and our fathers out of the land of Egypt from the house of bondage and, and which did those great things in our sight and preserved. Saints of God, we need the Lord to preserve us. Amen. Amen. Because if we aren't preserved, we will be destroyed. Amen. Amen. How many know? When the old people used to preserve things, yeah. amen, and put that, that seal on it yeah. and screw it, amen. Yeah. When you do open, when you hear pop, you know the seal real good. You can keep it a long time, amen, and it'll still be good to eat, right. amen. This is what God want to do for us. He's a keeper. Yeah. Somebody say, he's not a keeper. Yes, he is. God is a keeper, amen. No matter where you go and what you do, God can keep you. God will send you a warning before what? Before destruction. That's how we know he's, he will preserve us. He's a keeper. Amen. He preserved us in all the way wherein we went. Everywhere they went. Even among their enemies, God preserved them. He only let the enemy went so far. Thanks to God, you all always know. Satan can't do no more to you than what God will allow. Amen. And among all the people, amen, through whom we pass. When we pass through our enemies, God was right there. One son said he was there all the time. He was just waiting patiently. How many know God was waiting on us? God gonna wait on your saints. Amen. Don't, hallelujah, don't be dismayed. God gonna wait on you. He's standing with outstretched arms. Amen. He said, come now and let us reason together. You refuse to come out. 
Amen. But if you come out and leave them alone, amen, to say all things are passed away. When you search up in there and see some of them old George things you used to have, but really I had to get all of my George things. I had to get rid of it even before I got the Holy Ghost. It wasn't coming in. The Holy Ghost ain't coming in in no unclean temple. You got to clean up what you have messed up. Amen. And when you put it away, amen, God say he'll come in. Amen. Uh, verse 20. I'm going to let that be my last one, Pastor. I'm going to give it to you. It sure is. Hey, how Verse 20. If ye forsake the Lord, if you abandon him, if you put God away, amen, and serve strange God, these strange gods are false gods. They are not true gods. Amen. You can't get no help, amen, from them. Why? Because they are not real. It says, then he will turn and do you hurt. When you forsake God, when you abandon him and go doing your own thing, amen, it says God will turn from you and do you hurt and consume you. That means he's going to devour you. He's going to put you away completely. Amen. He's going to destroy you. Why? Because you don't choose God. He is your God. Amen. And another, he tells you, don't even follow them. Amen. Uh, verse 21. It's saying, the people said unto Joshua, nay, nay, me, no. But we will serve the Lord. Amen. They have a made up mind, y'all. Amen. They saw. Amen. Joshua done told them, for me and my house, we're going to serve the Lord. Amen. So what are you all going to do? He said, nay, we're going to serve the Lord. And then they went on down. Amen. In, in the 23rd verse, uh, 22nd. Amen. And Joshua said unto the people, ye are witness against yourself. You already heard the vow you made. That is your witness. You heard what you said, that you was going to serve the Lord. And they say, yes, we are our witness. We heard what we said. We want to follow the Lord. We want to do what the Lord has told us to do. Amen. Because God has been so good to us. Amen. I refuse, amen, to go back on the Lord. I remember when the Lord filled me with the Holy Ghost. I said, Lord, this is so good. Look like when I woke up the next morning, like I heard the birds for the first time. Right Amen. Like, clean. How many know when you will come to tariff service, you come here empty? All right now. You don't come here full of collard greens and pigtails and cornbread and Kool-Aid. No, you come before the Lord empty. Like an empty pitcher before a full fountain. And every time I would come, and, and, and uh, I will fast before I come and I will call on the Lord. How many know the more you call on the Lord, God will fill your cup and he'll let it overflow. Yeah. Amen. And I say, Lord, this is so good. Lord, show me how I can live this from the cradle to the grave. Lord, I don't want to give the devil another day of my life. Because Satan come to steal, kill, and to destroy. He want to take us out. He don't just want to take the little babies out. He want to take the preacher, amen, the teachers, everybody out. Amen. He want to take us out and he want all of us to be lost. But the Lord say it's his good pleasure that none of us be lost. Verse 23. Now therefore put away, said he, the strange gods which are among you. Look at that. It was some strange gods among them, and he's telling them, get rid of them. That's it. My departure is at hand. I'm telling you what you need to do. Amen. Won't God show you you? Yes, he will. If it's something wrong with you, say, God, show me me. Yeah. I'm oftentimes telling God, Lord, show me me. Hallelujah. Because if you don't get it together here, what this is the dressing room. If you don't get it together here, hallelujah, when you die wrong, you gonna rise wrong. You got to die right so you can rise wrong. Amen. And 
Lord. Be sincere to the Lord. Fear the Lord. Amen. Be holy. Amen. Because this is what the Lord will have us to do. It's saying the people said unto Joshua, the Lord, our God, will we serve and his voice we obey. Will we obey? We're going to obey you, Lord. Whatever you tell us to do, amen, we're going to do it, Lord. Joshua's final exaltation, telling them for me and my house. Yeah. Thanks to God, make it personal tonight. For me and Joy's house, I'm going to serve the Lord. God bless you, sir. Thank you. 
to his mother. A lot of times, you know, you stop at the mother. But he wanted to talk to me right. a lot of times before he go because he remembered what I told him. Yeah. I spent time with him and everything, you know, because I wanted him to do right. Yeah. Every one of us better spend time with our children and let them know when you wake up, sin, but the next time you see him, they deep in him. How many, how many seen this before? The next time, I'm, I'm about to take my seat. Something you better leave alone. Yeah. It was just so much, I, so much more I couldn't see it. 